welcome to this additional episode about using Steve's Factory Manager to automate the production of power using Pam's Harvest Craft Beat Burgers and a, culinary, a set of culinary generators. This is an additional video which goes along with the FTOG Infinity Evolved series uh, where we're playing in exit mode Although this recipe could be used for non expert mode or any other mod pack, as long as you have access to a harvester, a culinary generator, and Pam's, Har Pam's Harvest Craft. As you can see, I have a harvester in front of me, and behind me I have a collection of plants. The main purpose of this is to make up the burger. So if you're interested in how what the plants are and how they are related, please go watch the Infinity episode. I'll link to it down in the description. However, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do with any as with any Steve Sector Manager is create a trigger. Just a basic trigger, doesn't need to be anything special. I'm hoping to probably use maybe one trigger or maybe two in this whole process uh, but we'll see how it goes uh, so we want to create an input which will just come from our chest and I'm going to create a variable oh, there it is, uh, because I need to move things around at a later date so we'll just create variable white yeah we'll call it input Oops, input spell input right input chest um, and we will select this one we then want to make uh, this one here come from that input. Uh, target should be fine. Items, items will be a blacklist. We'll just take everything out of there. Then we will create an output. So the output is going to be into the first presser. Uh, once again, it's not a problem. Whitelist we want to put in. Uh, soybeans, this one here, and we just put them all in there. And we'll also create another trigger, put that over here somewhere, which is just going to take everything out of the machines. So we'll create it as an input, presser, 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 and the redstone furnace. Uh, target uh, down will do items will be a blacklist yes because we want to grab everything output into the back into our input chest so we'll set that back to there um, and the blacklist yes target doesn't really matter because it's a chest and we'll join that one up so that will take everything out so when it's finished processing it'll put it back into the input chest um, so the next output we want to do so this here will generate let's make it let's make it say um, soy to soy milk and then this one here will be soy milk to silken I think it's called um, if I have the second, I suppose we're going to place it under the second presser. Now, you don't have to have three pressers, you could use the same presser, it really depends on how much production you're planning on using. Um, and of course, you could use the for each loop or um, a variable to define them. I'm just going to define them like this for now. Uh, target won't matter, it should default. Yeah, um, in this case, we want to put in the soy milk. And when that's finished, of course, it'll be pulled out by this recipe. We then want to create another output, which will grab any soy milk and stick it into the third, uh, no, silken tofu, stick it into the third one. Uh, this one here will be the silken tofu, which is that one there. Um, and we'll name, we'll name that as well. So that there is silken to firm tofu. And once again, of course, the 
that recipe there would take it out. Um, and then we want to probably need to work out bread. So let's go create another output. And we'll stick that probably about, I don't know, there, that would do. Um, we'll stick that into the redstone furnace. Target, we'll leave us um, up for now. Probably not right, but we'll try it. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, and we will set it as a whitelist. We want to place in wheat. Uh, no, we're not limited on that, so that's cool. Um, how about we start this process off? So input into there. Connect those guys up. Oops. Not quite what I want. Connect that to there. And we will make that into a node like that, so it's easy to look at. Uh, we'll create another output. Oh, probably should make, give that a name, shouldn't we? So this is going to be wheat. Oh, actually, no, I've got that wrong. That is going to be bread to toast. Um, because we actually need to change this to a bread. No, sorry, uh, bread? Yes, bread. Bread to toast. Um, and we'll just connect that for now. We need to create a crafter. And this one's the special one. Uh, where is it? Auto crafter. And we'll stick that there instead. Stick this guy there. And this one here is crafting the wheat to the bread. Because of course you need to go wheat to bread first. Uh, and we're going to go wheat here in the first slot. Wheat in the second slot. And wheat in the third slot should make us bread. Perfect. Uh, excess will go back into the input. Oh, no, excess will go into the input chest, won't it? Um, yes. Uh, everything else should be fine. Yep. And then we'll connect it up, like that, and like that, and like that, there we go, um, we'll connect that to there, uh, because of course that will generate bread and put it straight into the furnace to be created into toast. We then want to delete that one. So now we know to make another auto crafter. And this one here will be for creating the beet burger. And here's the power kicking in, so we're obviously doing something. Um, and we're going to be creating here cutting board, firm tofu on the top, and then toast. there and then we go to here we look at the beet and fried egg oh need to make a fried egg too okay well let's add that in first where's my autograph the autograph is there so we'll make this guy the fried egg And it requires a skillet, which will be already you should already have in the chest. Um, and it only needs one skillet, so we'll just keep reusing the same skillet over and over again. Um, and some tofu should make us an egg. Perfect. Uh, once again, set the excess inventory to our input chest. We'll join that up to there. Now we should be able to make our beet burger crafting. Uh, so it is uh, fried egg and a beet. Let's see if it actually works in a different order. Uh, not beet seed, there's the beet there. Um, I believe it was tofu again. And then pineapple. Pill, 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 pill. It, okay, fine. Pineapple. Makes a beet burger. Cool. 
so excess goes into there, and then the output will actually be it's gonna fail. Yeah. Let's let's try another variable. Uh, container variable. We will call this output chest. Output chest. And we will make it the orange color. Uh, the container will just be our input chest for now. And we will set this to be the variable output chest. Uh, blacklisted, yep. Target, perfect. So, in theory, if we look into our chest. Okay, so we're making tofu. That's cool. And the silk, we're not making anything else though. Hmm. We got. Okay, so I see top. So I can never remember which one is top in this thing. I think that's top. Okay, so there's bread. Um, and bottom, is that bottom? There you go. Does that fix the problem? Where's the toast? We're not making. Oh, I've super connected. There we go. Um, oh, but we're not making a fried egg. Firm tofu. We should have firm tofu available. Oh, there we go. There's the fried egg. And there's our beet burgers. Cool. Okay, I'm thinking this looks a little, little bit nasty on the server, so let's put in a condition here. Actually, let's do two things. Let's make sure we don't have a problem. So I'm going to move that guy out here. Um, let's put two conditions in. So we'll put condition. Uh, actually, no, we'll put a trigger in there as well. So we'll make this guy. Um, if we have more than three tofu, because it takes three tofu to make one, and we don't want it to be. If we don't have enough tofu, we don't want it to take all the tofu and make it into eggs. Um, so we'll base it on the input chest. Uh, it doesn't matter. And it requires to tofu, and it requires three tofu. Um, so if we've got that, then we make the fried egg, and we then output the fried egg back into our input chest. Uh, input chest. Uh, blacklisted, yes. So we'll do that. So if we take that out, just to stop making fried eggs. Looks like that's working. So put two in there. Should increase the amount of the fried eggs we get, yes. No. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> helps you connect it. Working better. Still no. Oh, you know what will help. Let's take credit and put uh, from the input chest, uh, and we will take from here the skillet. Skill it and one tofu. Now the reason I'm saying one of these is so that it doesn't constantly, it doesn't take all three of them out and make multiple things, multiple actual eggs out of it, which would be not great because that's why we've actually separated this into a separate trigger. So I'll do that and we'll just condition that. Input skillet. 
1 times 2 thu. Like that. Hopefully now that will output. Take that out. It looks like it's working. Cool. Um, yep. So the next thing we want to do is I'm also going to put a condition in that we only create um, just to stop the flicking around that's currently there because you saw it when it was actually active it was doing some flickering of the various tools uh, we want to request all our ingredients so we need to make sure we've got toast uh, so one toast we also want to make tofu so we need Two tofu. Uh, we also want to make, make sure we have beet. And we will need. That'll make it easy to see, won't it? Let's move that over there. Right. Uh, nope. This one here. This one's the pineapple. Pineapple. In there and the fried egg, so we must have a fried egg as well. Fried, fried egg, toast, firm tofu, fried egg, beet, pineapple, firm tofu. Okay, so we'll join that into there. So that will basically say, oops, if there is enough items to craft it, then craft it, and we'll call it enough. Burger. Now, if we do that, it should be making once again. Let's put some of that back in. Oops. There you go, it's making it again. Hopefully, yeah, see so now it will stop. Uh, that's firm tofu, yeah. So it won't constantly take things out. It should be a lot cleaner on a server. Obviously, the first recipe we had would actually work for. If you're on a single player and you're happy for it to just take time. Uh, but this will ensure that we're not constantly taking the item out of here because we've taken the cutting board and the skillets out. Uh, what we might also do is let's put a let's put a limit on the items we've got here. Beat burger. Um, and we'll also make it so if there's a backlog, so we'll say maximum 64. 64. Let's actually give this a name. Uh, return from machine. From any machine. Any machine. So, we now have a stack of beet burgers. This will keep crafting up tofu and everything else. Whilst there is stuff in there, I might actually add a small rule in there so we don't craft anything else up. So let's go, let's add a condition. Because we don't really want to be using the power. So I'll move this guy down a lot more. Stick it in there like that. It's getting pretty messy to move now. Move that over to there, move that over to there. The condition in this case is less than 10 toast. And it's based on the input chest. Um, and we're looking for toast. So we right click on there, say 10. And that'll ensure that we're not constantly so we'll join that to there and that'll ensure if we've got more than 10 toast we won't use the furnace at all there's no need oh sorry no that's the what am i on about <laughs> this should be if it's um fried eggs sorry so let's go fried egg and we will say 10 there
fried egg. So now, of course, we're not making little fried eggs because we've got more than that. Uh, we could do a similar thing with the toast. Um, so we could create. Let's create another another trigger. <laughs> Running out of room. Might have to get uh, put these into groups. Um, so if we cr we'll create a condition on this one, and this one is for toast, and we'll say it's actually less than ten toast. Uh, we will then say it's in the input chest. The target will be down. It requires toast. Uh, specify ten. And I've just realised that that's actually meant to be there, <laughs> um, because of course it's oh not that one. That's meant to be there. So there's less than. So we don't have ten fried eggs and go down here. I think we can actually move that to there, which will make it look, look a little bit nicer as well. And we'll even name this Make Fried Eggs. And then we'll move this over here as a tidiness. Um, and we'll put this other one here, will be once again a false. Um, we'll grab, unlink that, and unlink that everything goes quiet put that on false condition uh no we won't we'll need to put an input in there as well so we'll create an input what was that what error but we're saying in our input chest we are looking for a specifically in this case wheat um, we'll then put that to there and join it up so it looks a bit nicer like that move this guy to there there, to there, and to there, and we'll say, oh, this one's final output, final output, and we'll make this one, make toast, make toast, so we'll also make, make Okay, so, um, yeah, so what we have is we have our, well, we'll start with a small recipe, so that we've got the make toast recipe, which if there is less than 10 toast, then we will take from the input chest, we will make, um, we will take the wheat from here, and make it into bread. Any excess will go back into our input chest, there. And then we're going to place the resulting bread into the toasting machine, which is in our case a redstone furnace. Uh, this this recipe here will re return from the the presses which we use over here, or the redstone furnace, and it will back output it back into our input chest. There. Um, the fried eggs. If there's less than 10 fried eggs, or if the, there's a condition, uh, if we have fry, if there's 10 fried eggs, then we won't do anything. That's the true condition. Otherwise, we'll go down this path here. If we've got more than three tofu, because we need two two tofu for this process, um, so we need if we've got one one tofu left, then we will input the skillet and the tofu um, from the input chest. Skillet tofu, and that's set to one. 
and we'll cook up and we'll make up a, a fried egg using the skillet and the firm tofu and stick any excess into our input chest now if you wanted to you could skip this step um, you could basically say if there's 10, 10 fried eggs just do it here in fact that might be a, not a bad idea just for simplicity yeah, let's do that because that's actually a really simple recipe you don't have to do all this extra drop that and drop that So the recipe is now make fried eggs. All right. In this case, though, we need to specify there's a white wow. white list. Uh, we are looking for <laughs> fried eggs and specifying ten. Now, what they're all sure is that we have ten fried eggs. So a toast, we can't do that type of condition on because it needs to put it into um, the redstone furnace and then we have no idea we're actually up to. Um, so we do need a condition on that one. But this one here, of course, it won't make any more if there's already 10 in there. And then our primary one is we input any items from the chest. We place the soy into the presser to make soy milk. We then put, we, this will then be taken out. We then make, we get the soy milk and make it into silken tofu. And we take the silken tofu, make it into firm tofu. If we've then got enough um, of all the ingredients, we'll then make the beet burger and place it into the final output chest. In theory, we should never have any more. Let's take some of these guys out. So that should start making up Yep. So as you can see it's making up fried eggs and it should stop at 10 Perfect um, And the same with the toast. If we take all the toast out it should now cook up some toast if we then put that into there, it will stop. Well, it's cooking up some at the moment, so it will, it will probably get a little bit higher than that. Uh, but it should stop putting any more in there. So you can see it's not putting any more wheat in there. Okay, so the last thing we want to do, and this is probably the most important for the power purposes, is we want to create a trigger, an input, and an output. Um, and we are running low on space. But we can always organize this pretty later. Um, the input is going to be our output chest. The target doesn't really matter. Just going to be a blacklist. Uh, the output is going to be our currently generators. Now if you have multiple of those, you just select your multiple generators. Go into define multiple selection interaction. And let's just choose something as an example, uh, redstone furnace. Um, and click on run command once per target. This will ensure that it will go through each inventory and it will place the requirement in there. Um, so we'll just untake that again so we don't cause weirdness. Uh, you want to choose of course your target. For the calendar regenerators it doesn't matter, it should just be up or down or whatever the default is. And of course we want a whitelist to be a beet burger. And we set it to one. And what that will ensure will happen is that it'll only ever have one in there. If the generator uses another one, it'll place another one in there. So you're not going to have a very large stack waiting to be processed. They'll stay in your chest, your output chest, until one of the generator needs more power. So I've just moved the generator for now, and you should be able to see that it's stored one in there. But because it hasn't, it's got full power. It's not taking any more, not adding any more in there, and we will be increasing the number we have here. So that's the process I've used 
to create a beet burger, which can then be used in a, culinary, a set of culinary generators to make extra power. Don't forget, if you're interested in how the overall process worked and how I got to this stage, go check out the Infinity Evolved Expert Mode episode on the FTOG server. There'll be a link down in the description. But otherwise, have a great day, and see ya!